Hello, in this video, we're going to look at how to mask an image in Google Slides. You can see I've got an example of a masked image on the slide straight in front of us. My profile picture has been fitted into the circle shape. And we can do that in Google Slides really easily with any image that we have. And it's really useful to make your slides look really professional. So let's start off by going into Google Slides. And you can see here I've got a blank presentation already set up to work with. First thing I need to do is insert an image, and I can insert the image in any of the ways I normally would. In this case, I'm just going to search the web, and I'm going to search the web for a waterfall. When the image is load, I'll go down and pick one that I would like to, to drop into the document just by using the insert option there. When the image is in, I'm now going to go to the crop icon, and next to the crop image icon, you can see the mask image drop down option box and this will give you the option to mask the image into any of the shapes so let's just start off by masking it into a circle and then i can go in and change the size for example of the image just by dragging as i would to resize the image if, if i'm not quite getting the image looking how i want i can go into the format options and i can look at size and rotation and I can see here this image isn't quite square, and so that won't give me a perfect circle. So I can look at making adjustments to that. So I've now got myself a circular image, which is really good because that's what I'm looking for. If I now want to adjust the size of that, I can tick here to lock the aspect ratio, and that will mean I'll be able to make that circle smaller and then drag it about like so. I've got other options as well. If I go back into the mask image option here, I could, for example, put it into an arrow if I wanted to. All of the shapes work really well. Closing the format options, I'll go over into the crop image section here. So you can see at the moment the image isn't, isn't cropped at all, but I do have the ability to be able to make the image cropped and then I can move the image around so I can get just the bit of the image that I want inside the shape that I've chosen. And you can see there, I've really narrowed down and focused in on one part of the uh, waterfall. So I can mask images and I can edit how those images look by using a combination of the mask image tool, the crop tool, as well as the format options for the image. Hopefully this has been useful and it will be able to help you go and mask images successfully in the future. Good luck.